Good evening. Good evening, Brenda. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Me escucha? <clears throat> Good evening, Manuel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Evelyn. Welcome to this Bye. class. Good evening, Brenda. Can you hear me? <clears throat> okay, welcome everyone. So we're going to we're going to wait for the rest. Okay, uh, just another uh, another two or three minutes. How was your day today? <clears throat> Good evening. Okay, Brenda. I understand. Good evening, Roberto. How was your day? Fine, fine. I'm fine. Very okay. Fine. Good. Good evening, Sandra. Teacher, tendré apagada la cámara porque voy a cocinar ahorita. Evelyn, who said that? Sí. Okay. Sí. okay. Okay. Karen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How was your day? Tired. Was tired. Okay, I understand. Yes, it's Monday and we have to work, right? I understand. Welcome, welcome, Samara. Welcome, Janita. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> okay. So today is uh, Monday, June 12th, 2023. This is the class number 10. We're going to have a review about unit two, okay? So we're going to make a review about the unit two, uh, all the unit, different topics that we studied last week. Brenda says that she will be just listening because she's going from, from her job to her home. Okay, it's okay, Brenda, thank you. <clears throat> Welcome, Diana, Carolina, Xiomara, Isabel Rocio, Sandra, Janira, Evelyn, Manuel, Roberto, Karen, and Brenda. Thank you for being time. So we're going to, let me share my screen. Can you see it? Do you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Isabel Rocio says that she will be also uh, listening to us. Radio oyente. Okay, if you can participate, please let me know. Okay, uh, we have the agenda, we have the lesson objective, then we have the unit two review. Written practice, <clears throat> conversation practice, okay? At the end of this class, a student will be able to use adverb of frequency, use imperatives, use have to and need to, and speak about events using dates. Okay, basically that is, uh, those are the topics that we studied last week, okay? Um, I have the first activity that it is related to adverse of frequency. 
It is just to review, just to remember what we studied before. Okay, let me see. We have the adverse of frequency. We have never, rarely, sometimes, always, often, and usually. Okay, we're going to review how to use them. Um, Robert, the number one. I go to the three times a week. Um, usually, usually, three times a week. Usually, okay. Usually, I usually go to the gym three times a week. Okay. What about number two, Karen? Some Saturdays I go cycling with my family. Often, a menudo. Okay, we're going to see if that is correct. <clears throat> uh, Manuel, number three, once a week, I go fishing with my father. Uh huh. Rarely, you said? Rarely. Okay, going to see. Okay, my brother doesn't forget my forget me at a school. My brother doesn't forget me at a school. Never. Never. Okay, I go to the park four times a week. Sometimes. Sometimes. And I play, <clears throat> I play football every day. Always. Always. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, uh, will be here, will be often at, uh, here I go to the park four times a week is often and sometimes we'll be here okay like uh some Saturdays okay some Saturdays we don't know when en cambio aquí dice que va cuatro veces a la semana entonces es más seguido often okay and here will be sometimes and then all of them are correct do you have questions Do you have questions about the frequency adverbs? No? Okay, who wants to read all the sentences? Volunteers? Volunteers to read the sentences. Robert, do you mind if you do it? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, y es necesario que lea lo, uh, lo que hemos ubicado ahorita. Yes, I usually go to the gym three times a week, for example. Okay. okay. I usually I go to the gym three times a week. Mm -hmm. Often some Saturdays I go uh, sick line with my family. Okay, ¿dónde ubicaríamos la palabra often? En <coughs> medio de la oración. ¿Cómo? Sería después de, uh, después de I, antes de go, sería ubicado, okay? Some Saturdays I often go cycling with my family. Number three, ¿Cómo, cómo lo ubicaría? Uh, once a week, mm -hmm, I, once a week, I rarely go to go fishing with my 
father. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Once a week, I rarely go fishing with my father. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. My brother never doesn't forget me at school. My brother never, never doesn't forget me at school. Okay. And the next, I go, no, I something, I uh, go to the park four times a week. Ok, si, si arreglamos las oraciones que vea ahí, las que salieron incorrectas, ¿cómo quedaría? Mm. Quedaría often aquí, okay. donde está sometimes, y sometimes quedaría aquí en donde está often. Ok, I go, I often go to the park four times a week. Ok. And la última, I always play football every day. Mm -hmm, very good. I always play football every day. Okay, that is good. Thank you so much. That is the way that will be. Okay, so we move on and we have imperatives. So we're going to make a, a little review about imperatives. Do you remember that we studied that topic last week? <clears throat> okay, select one. According to the image, select one imperative here. I... Uh, go over the bridge. Yeah. Mm, no. the second. No. The um, second. Extreme on the lead. Which one? Take the second street on the left? Yes. Street, yes. Okay. The first one and second, right? Very good. What about this one? Make a few return. You turn. Yes, very good. Make a you return. Uh-huh. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Very good. The, that is a bridge. Go over the bridge. Go over the bridge, okay. Turn right here. Turn right here. Very good. Mm -hmm. The same Uh-huh. Follow the signs for the zoo. Very good. And finally. Say the first right. Say the first right. Okay, do you have questions about this? Vocabulary? No? no. Okay. Everything is okay. We're going to move on. And now we have a practice here. 
with the dates. Okay, the first one here, Evelyn, which one will be? The seed of August. Okay, the seed of August. Okay. Diana, the next, which one is? Same. Uh, the six. Mm, primero es el día y después el mes. Por eso. Ten. The tenth. Uh -huh. Ajá, the ten. Of six. Of June. Of June. Okay. Ah, en letras. Uh -huh. Try to match the one that we have here with the ones that we have here, okay? This, okay, traten de, como de buscarle la correcta, okay? Okay, next, uh, Judith. Sí, teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yo acabo de entrar que no sé, si me está preguntando algo de esto, no sé, acabo de entrar. Okay. Que me sacó la aplicación. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no estamos... of February okay, Selena, thank you. The, the 28th of February, okay? February. Very good. I did next. Two. Uh, the two. The second of November. Yeah, very good. The second of November. Griselda. Next. The seventeenth of March. The seventeenth of, of March. 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 Good. Sandra. The eighth of December. Mm -hmm. the, the eighth of December. The eighth of December. Okay, very good. Janita. The fifth of January. The first of January. Janita, the first of January. Okay, next, Manuel. The third of April. Next, Robert. Um, nine of May. Nine of May. May, May, May. May. Uh, Karen? The 12th of July. The 12th of July. Very good. Okay. That was very correct. Okay, very good. That was very correct. Okay, we are good with the uh, dates. So, but we're going to practice more, okay? Let me see. So, we have more exercises here. Okay, we are going to practice the adverse of frequency again in all of them because we are we are practicing now. Okay, it says uh complete the chart with the right and the adverse of frequency. Give it in the box. Okay, from zero percent to one hundred percent. Do you remember the way that they are they are uh 
taking what is the percentage which one will be the first one here in the first place in the ninth in the eighth place uh -huh. always that is a hundred percent right what about the seven Xiomara, so, what would Eight. be the seventh place? Uh -huh. Do you remember if Evelyn? Mm -hmm. Probably usually, okay. Which one will be in the sixth place? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Normally. Uh huh. Sometimes. 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 Okay. Sometimes. Okay. No, no me cae completo, pero es eso. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Number number fifth. Okay. Fifth place. Okay. Which one? Okay. Often. Often. Okay. Yes. Number four. Never. 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 Never is the first one, a key. Usually. Hardly. Hardly ever. Okay. Oh, sorry. Es la letra. The letter is not the... the... Let me fix it. Okay. Uh, this one will be... Let me see. That is usual. That is always. This one is usually letter V. Let us uh, number six. It is often, you said. Number fifth. Sometimes. Letter A. Number four. Okay, this is B. Sometimes, ah, I don't know. Oh, okay, ya me confundí aquí. Okay, letters, letter number six will be letter A, that is sometimes. And then number oh. number fifth, fifth place will be offense. That is E. E. Four. D. Never F F. Sería la cuatro sería F. C. Sería aquí en la ocho porque es C always, ¿ok? Aquí sería B, estamos bien con usually. Number six, A. No, number six, num number five is A. And number six is E, ¿ok? Number four. F. F. Number third. Hardly ever. H. G. And two. Rarely. G. Rarely, right? Okay. Teacher, dos veces está la F. La F? 
Okay. okay. Number one is no F. Oh, F. F is the very. Oh, yes, that is correct. Sometimes. La, la D, teacher. Letter D. Hardly ever, okay. you are right. Hardly ever, that is number four. Okay. Ya necesito lentes. Now we're going to order the correct uh, sentences here, okay? I will ask one by one and you will tell me how will be the order. Okay, uh, Natalie, Marilyn, welcome, welcome back. Natalie, um, how do you think that will be the order of these sentences? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Always. Always. Goes. 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 Dancing. Goes dancing. Uh, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Okay, very good. That is, that will be the order of the sentences. Uh, Isabel, Rocio, are you available? Si puede participar, Isabel. Okay. Astrid, are you available? Um, Sam. Sam. Um, usually. Usually. Um, is hungry. Angry. Is hungry. After. after. Okay, after. At school. Very good. Okay, number three. Xiomara. My brother mother. See? Two. Uh -huh. mm, number three. Teria Mark. My um, brother. My brother. Mark. 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 Uh, studying for study no. never 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 no. studying study study for okay. his test for his his test yes okay thank you so much uh, Karen number four you often. You read. You often. You often read, read books. Books. Okay. Good. Roberto, number number five. I always do. I always do. My homework. <laughs> In my room. In my room. Okay. Very good. Number six, uh, Manuel. John, sometimes. John, sometimes. To tell the bush wall. Sometimes the take the bus. 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 The
solo vamos a, a en este caso, agregar el adverb frequency in the correct place, okay? Janira, which one will be the order of the adverbs of frequency? I'm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really? Late. 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 For school. In the morning. Very good. Sandra, number two. Uh -huh. Occasionally. Okay. Okay. Occasionally. 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 Uh huh. Gus. Gus. Out with friends. Okay. Number three. Grise. No, Griselda is just okay. Ay de number three, ay de lo vas a arruinar. Ana, creo que dice ahí. Ana, Ana. Usually. usually, in the evening, evening, so, so net. the net, the net, in the evening. Uh, in the evening. Evening. Okay. Number four, Selena. My best friend. My best friend. Uh huh. That never. Never, never does, never takes, what was, never takes, what, up at school. school. Okay, very good. And, um, okay. Brenda, number five, they, um, they often, are at home in the evening. They often are at home in the evening. Evening. In the evenings. Okay. Very good. Good job. Write the true the true answer with frequency adverbs. How often do you speak English? What will be the answer, Evelyn? Mm. I, I really can speak English. I speak English. But you are, you are doing that every day now, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> I usually. I usually. <laughs> yes, you're doing that every day. You're trying, okay? Okay. <laughs> I usually speak. I speak English. English. Yes. Okay, Brenda, again. How often do you surf the net? Are you. Are you usually? Are you usually? Do you. Are you. Surf? The net. Ajá. Su respuesta, ok. Su respuesta real es la que me va a dar de la pregunta. Ok. Diana, how often do you listen to music? Eh, sería usually. Usually or always? The usually. I usually do listen you? to music. 
Music. Okay. Selena? I never a screen teacher. <laughs> okay. I never swim. Es nadar, vea. Yes. Okay. Okay, Isabel Rocío. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. How, Sería... often, how often do you play video games? I I never play video games. I never play video games. Okay, good. How often do you eat pizza, Robert? I I rarely eat pizza. They rarely eat pizza. pizza. Okay, good. Manuel, how often do you how often do you study? I know. I always. Okay, I always always study. study English, right? Yes. Okay. How often do you watch a movie, Karen? I usually watch a movie. I usually watch a movie, okay? Okay. Uh, Astrid, how often do you use the, the computer? Mm -hmm. I usually. <laughs> I usually. Mm -hmm. Do you use? Use? You use? The computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that after the after the the adverb frequency, you're going to use the verb. Okay. Está respondiendo la pregunta nada más. Okay. How often do you use the computer? Uh -huh. I usually use the computer. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um here we're going to, to choose the correct option. Evelyn, he swims or swim in the lake in the in summer. Swing, swing. Swims. Yes. Okay, Brenda, I cook, cooks or I cook lunch for my family. I cook. I cook. Okay, Diana, we drinks or we drink coffee in the evening. Uh, we drink. Remember, we. Necesitamos agregarle ter s a a a a we. Yes. O solo es el verbo normal. Green. Verbo normal. Green. Verbo normal. Verbo solo, normal. Solo utilizamos para she, tercera persona. he, and it, que es tercera persona, mm -hmm. la S, ¿ok? This will be without S. Ok. Uh, Judith, are you there? Yes. Ok. Pam learns or learned French from her grandmother? Learns. Learns. Ok. Selena, they travel or they travel in the winter? They travel. Travel. In the winter. Yes, okay. I they, I want or I want to stay at home? Selena, I want to stay at home. 
I want to stay at home. Okay, Griselda is just like, okay. Sandra, the kids climbs or climbed the apple tree in the garden? They clings. Climb. Climb the apple tree in the garden, okay? Apple tree in the garden. Yes. Uh, okay, Sandra, do you see or do you see Gary on weekends? Do, do you see? See Gary on weekends, okay. Janita, our teacher are or is very helpful? Our teacher is very yes, helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Manuel, Otto visits or visit his parents in Germany? Visit. Visits with S because he's third person. Okay. We are talking about him. Okay, Robert, the stores are or is open on Sundays? The store. Uh, yes, store. Um, is open. Stores. Plural. Are. Are, okay, porque son varias tiendas, okay? Who am or who is late for work? Um... Karen. Who is late for work? Who is late for work? Okay. Xiomara, I eat or I eat sushi on Friday? Um, I, I eat, eat sushi on Friday. Eat or eat? Eat. Eat sushi on Friday. Okay. Yes. Astrid. Yes. He phones or he phone his brother in Italy. Uh, he phone. Phones with the letter S. Or without letter S, just phone. Phone. Okay, remember that he is he, okay? Yeah. He. Yeah. In this case, we're going to add the third person. Okay. Vamos a agregarle tercera persona. Vamos a agregarle la S a la tercera persona. ¿Ok? Ok, let me see if that, that, what is the scores that we have here. Uh, Creo que no les ¿qué le qué les faltó? Ahora no, no sé qué les faltó porque está incorrecta. Creo que el punto. El punto. ¿Mm? El punto. Okay, but good practice, okay? We have here another practice about imperatives. Okay, tenemos otra práctica de los imperatives there. <clears throat> what do you remember about the imperatives? Uh-huh. ¿Qué se recuerda de los imperatives? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Okay. Well, let me take the attendance, okay? Voy a pasar la asistencia ahorita y luego vemos esto. Okay, um, today is 12. Okay, Astrid, 
present. Hay de. Aquí te Brenda. Present. Selena. Present. Diana. Present. Evelyn. Present. Griselda. Griselda Jamilet. Bueno, la veo conectada. A uh, Isabel. Rocío. Karen. Patricia. Present teacher. Ok, Isabel también la veo conectada. Luis Américo. Luis. Manuel. Present. Natalie. Aquí estoy, teacher. Thank you. Rocío. Ok, Natalie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Natalie. Teacher, aquí estoy. Soy Griselda. Yes. Thank you, Griselda. Um, okay, Robert. Present. Sandra. Present. Wendy. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Janira. Present. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for your attendance. Okay, very good. So, uh, imperative sentences, affirmative and negative sentences. Les, les decía que se pueden tener affirmative and negative imperatives. For example, uh, affirmative will be make your bed. Okay, arregla tu cama. Make your bed. Negative is don't make your bed. Your bed. Okay, don't do it. That is a negative. Okay, change. Now we're going to change the sentences to a, to affirmative or negative imperative forms. Estos son como frases que yo que nos que nosotros decimos. Okay, turn off turn off uh the light, for example, or turn or turn turn it on. Okay, uh, for example, close the door. Okay, open the door. Esas son las imperative forms. Como no son como órdenes, pero son como formas directas de decir haga hace esto. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Stand up. Okay, we're It's going done. to change. Yes, Elena. Nada de chico lo estaba recordando. Uh -huh. Ok, sit down. Si lo cambiamos a negativo, ¿cómo sería? Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't. Vamos a hacer sin apóstrofe porque si no, no da error. Don't sit down. Don't listen to to me when I'm talking. How will be listen, positive? Listen to me when I am. Listen to me when I am talking. Okay. Talking. Mm -hmm. Eat some snacks. Don't eat some snacks. Do you know it? Some snacks. Do you know what is a snack? Yes? Do you know what is that? Si saben que es? Snacks. Snacks. Boquitas. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't wait for the dinner. Wait for dinner. Mm -hmm. Wait for dinner. Okay. Drink this water. Do not no, drink the water. 
do not drink this water. Okay, don't go to, to bed late. I go to the bed late. Go to bed late. late. Aquí no le vamos a poner este, ningún sujeto, ¿ok? Porque son okay. imperatives. Ok. Ok, walk on the grass. Negative? Don't eat. Do not eat on the grass. Okay, don't eat healthy food. Eat. Eat healthy food. Healthy food. Healthy food. Yes. Don't go to school. Go to a school. Go to a school. Okay. Go to a doctor now. Don't know. Do not go to the Okay, very good. Let's see. Mm, I guess it's because um, no le pusimos el, apo el apostrofe. I don't know how, how they evaluate. But it all them listen to me when I'm talking. Oh, okay, it's for el apostrophe. Este. Acá. If I do this, pero igual, mi apostrofe no me lo acepta. Okay, but that is a way that we are going to make it uh, from positive to negative or from negative to positive, okay? Okay, do you have questions about imperative sentences? Imperative, uh, how to use imperatives? Do you have questions about that? Si tienen alguna pregunta? Remember that we practice that, okay? And we're going to practice more today. Questions about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario? The light teacher, la six. Late. Tarde. Late. Mm -hmm. Tarde. Don't be late. No vengas tarde. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, Selena. Questions? I did. En la, en la seven, donde dice walk on the grass. ¿Qué es grass? Grass. Grama. Ah, grama. Uh -huh. Camino sobre la grama. Yes, walk on the grass, camina sobre la grama. Uh -huh. if, but if, you, if, it's, if, if it says don't walk on the grass, okay? Don't walk on the grass. Means that no camine sobre la grama. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So we have another uh, exercises about dates. I guess that is the most difficult uh, for you, but we're going to, we're going to review that, okay? Okay. I'm going to play the 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 audio, and you're going to tell me if that is, you're going to repeat it, okay? Just to make sure that you listen. Okay, uh, Astrid. The fourth. 
the fourth. Uh huh. Astrid. Hola. The fourth. Repeat what you hear. Repita lo que escucha. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. This one, right? Okay. Selena, number two. The thirtieth. The thirtieth. The second. The thirtieth. The thirtieth. Thirteenth or thirtieth? Thirty. Thirty. Okay, this one, right? Thirty. Okay, Natalie. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. Repeat. Fifth. Fifth. The fifth. Okay. Isabel. The twenty-second. The twenty-second. 26. Okay. Siobara? The 15th. The 15th. Okay, the 15th. Karen? The 7th. The 7th. The 7th. Mm -hmm. Robert? The 31st. The 31st. Uh, 30, uh, 23rd. The 31st. 23rd. Listen again. The 31st. The 31st. Uh, 31. The 31st. 31st. Remember the ordinal numbers, okay? Okay. The 2nd. Janita? The 2nd. The second, the second, algo así. Mm -hmm. Sandra? The first. The first. The first. Uh -huh. Sandra? The first. The first. The first. Okay, yes. very good. Good. Okay, um, Chris. Griselda, are you still just listening, Griselda? Solo está escuchando todavía. Okay, uh, Aide, number one, what is the day today? This one, el día que está acá. Is the? Mm, first October. Okay, is the first. First of October. Okay, Judith. It is the twenty. It's the twenty. Twenty first of October, right? Okay. Number three, Brenda. Today is twelve of October. Brenda, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you can um, 11? Mm -hmm. oh. How do you say that? 12. 12. How do you spell it? T W E. 12. Of September. F. F. P. H. Uh huh. It's the twelfth of October. 
Okay, what about number four? Well, Emily. He's the 15. 15? Of today. 15 of today. Okay. Um, how do you spell it? 15. F. F. E. I. I. F. F again. Uh -huh. T. T. E. 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 N. N. T. T. H. H. Okay, the 15th of the 15th today. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Eso es lo que vamos a poner aquí. Sorry. 15. What is the day? Aquí es, what is the day? This is the 15th of October. October. Okay, no, okay, next. Let me see. Isabel? No, Isabel está de hoy en Manuel. Number five. It is. How do you spell it? Twin. How do you spell it? Spell it for me, please. Twelve of. C W. Twenty. T. I. E. T. H. Twentieth of October. October. Okay. Selena, number six. It is. It is uh, twenty three. Of October. October. Sure. 23rd or 23rd? Sure. 23rd of? October. October. It is the 23rd of October. 23rd? 23rd? 23rd of October. Okay, let me see if that is okay. Uh huh. It, what is the day today? I don't know what is it. What is what is the day today? That makes sense. What is the no sé qué es lo que quieren que les pongamos acá. Okay. But yeah, that was the practice. We are okay. Very good job. We got a 10. Okay. Do you have questions from here? Tienen preguntas? Maybe what is the date? Uh -huh. Like this date. What is the date today? Okay, no questions. We're going to move on. Vamos a mover. We have here, here another exercise. Practice with days. We're going to draw a line to connect the days correctly. But you're going to tell me, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Evelyn, first one. 
June, uh -huh. June. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two. Two thousand. Two. 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 No, two. Ah, the fecha two. Mm, June sixteenth, two thousand two. Okay, good. Next. Brenda, how do you how do you pronounce this date? No entiendo qué vamos a hacer, teacher. Van a pronunciar el día, April. la fecha. April. Um. April. Four. April 7, 1985. Uh-huh. 1985. April 17, 1985. Okay. Judith. Okay. November. November 1st. Two thousand. Two thousand. Uh huh. Two thousand. One. I don't know. No second. Two thousand. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ah, uh, fifteen. Okay. Tienen que practicar más los números. Sí, porque no me los puedo decir. Okay. Practiquen más los números. Ah. Uh, Man Manuel, next. September, May, one ninety-six. September, the night, nineteen ninety-six. Okay, good. Roberto? Uh, May three. 2012. Repeat. May. May 3. 2012. Third. Third. Remember that cuando decimos fechas, tenemos que usar los números ordinales. Okay? May 3rd. May 2012. 2012. Okay. Now we're going to write in this way, okay? Como los tenemos acá, los vamos a escribir acá. This uh, Sandra, tell me the first one. Se me olvida como decir uno en ordinal. January. January. El, el, el 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, March 12, 2004. Forward. Uh -huh. Very good. Siamara. Sí, permítame. 
quiero ver. Eight. Um, no. Bueno, que la primera es, es el mes, ¿verdad? Yes. Quiero febrero, marzo, abril. August. 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 Ney, no, eight. Eight. No, ese es el mes. No, ¿verdad? Sería por. Ah, por. Perdón. Por. Two thousand. Um, 10. 2010. Okay. August 4, 2010. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Griselda, are you available now? April. April? 23rd. 23rd. Uh, 1999. 1999, very good. Thank you. Judith. Uh, May. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. 2012. 2012. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now what we're going to do to write the, 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 the month, day, and year here. Uh, you're going to just pronounce the, the date, okay? Uh, Selena. What is the date here? June. June. 11. 11, 11 2021 2021 uh-huh very good natalie <laughs> October. How do you pronounce that? October my two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Okay. Okay. Brenda? Second, February, uh, February, February, 16, 2004. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. February 6, 16, 2004. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, October is the oh. month number nine. Nice. October is the month. Ten. Ah, okay. Ten. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good job here. Okay. No sé si me lo va a tomar como buenas, pero vamos a ver. Mm, okay. No sé qué le falta ahí. Solo la mía está buena. <laughs> No sé qué le falta aquí, pero, well. En el año, teacher. Maybe. I don't know. But they, they are correct, okay? So, very good practice. Very good here. This is a review for the unit number two, okay? Uh, sorry. Present continuous? No. Is that... First and continuous is the one that we're going to see tomorrow. Okay, conversation practice. So we're going to have a conversation practice. Related to, let me, let me explain. Okay, imagine you are a secretary. Hmm? 
Mm, a spelling here. Secretary. Secretary. In your company, in your job. Okay. It is Monday, June 5th. O sea, el lunes pasado. 2023. Um, your boss asks you to describe all the events in the agenda for the complete month. Ok, su jefe le pregunta, dime todos los eventos que tengo para este mes. Y usted se los, va de, se los dice, todos los eventos que tiene agendados para el mes de junio. Ok, one of you will be the boss and the other one will be the secretary. Quiero que practiquen fechas. Fechas and also imperatives. Okay? Your boss will ask you what are the events that I have for this month? And then you will describe. For example, you can say, oh, okay, June 15, you have a meeting. Um, Pueden inventar el nombre con quién tiene la meeting, okay? Um, and then we could be um, on Monday, June 19th, you have an appointment, you have a medical appointment, okay? That is another example. Um, it could be on Friday, Friday, June the 30th, 2023. There is, we have, you have a party, okay? It could be like an anniversary celebration, okay? And you have a party. So examples like that, but I want that you practice the date, okay? And also you can use imperatives. Okay, or oh, adverse of frequency, if you can add that too. So we are going to make that um, mix. Vamos a mezclar toda, todos los temas que hemos visto en, en la unidad 2. Okay. Uh, let me open the rooms and you are going to work in pairs. I will give you... From 15 to 20 minutes. Teacher, how many sentences? Um, de, todas las que ustedes puedan, ¿ok? No les voy a poner mínimo ni límite a ustedes, todas las que puedan. ¿Ok? Ay, puede ser como una conversación. Yes, conversation. Pero este es el escenario, ¿ok? This is the... the the scenario, you, one you, of you will be the secretary and the other one will be the boss. And you and you will um, describe all the events that that person has in the, in the month, okay? Todos los eventos que tienen el mes. Okay, uh, let me open the rooms. Voy a abrir las salas. Y ahorita los voy a asignar. Hmm. Okay, Astrid.
Danira, si ¿sí me escucha. Hello. Griselda. Sí. Hola, hola. Uh, Xiomara, are you here? Dígame, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Solo ando verificando que estén, que estén uh, dos en cada sala, ok. Sí, pero, teacher. Yo me salí cuando dijo las indicaciones. Díganos que, repítame por favor, que era lo que íbamos a hacer. Sí, eh, vamos a hacer una conversación. Uno yeah. va a ser la secretaria y el otro va a ser el jefe. Okay. Yeah. Y el, eh, el jefe le pregunta a la secretaria cuáles son los eventos que tiene durante el mes. Ok. Y la secretaria le dice qué eventos tiene durante todo el mes. Ok. Van a utilizar fechas. Pueden utilizar también imperatives. Ok. Ok. Just sí, sí, sí. Ya la entendí. Ok, good. Entonces. Ok, gracias. Ok. Uh, en 15 minutos nos vemos en el main room. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Let's be well, yeah. Quiero, quiero, quiero un informe de este día. Quiero que hagamos una reunión. Ah, sí, un meeting. Ah. Hagamos una reunión y planear, planeemos va. Quiero una reunión. Y planeemos las actividades. O una, uh, quiero una reunión y, ah, uh, quiero una reunión para. Este, po, pongámosle primero así, este, como un, como un saludo. Por ejemplo, hi Judith, how are you? Okay. Y usted me contesta, I'm, I'm fine, o I'm good, no sé. Vaya. Vos, que es jefe, en you, y pregunta, ¿y usted? I'm fine. Ahí, ajá. Y de ahí yo le contesto, y de ahí veamos lo de la Glenda. La, la Glenda, la Glenda. <risa> <risa> Pensando en las compañeras de trabajo, estoy <risa> Vaya, pero vaya, ¿cómo vamos a empezar prácticamente? Porque, como. ¿Qué se el poco? Dígame. Sería: ¿What time is your need? Breakfast. 
Breakfast es eh, desayuno. Sí, desayuno. Bye. What time? Y me responderías. Mm. Uh -huh. Ay, ya tenemos dos. <ríe> Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. If you need help, si necesitan ayuda, me escriben, okay? okay. Este dijo que íbamos a hacer como una agenda, ¿verdad? De, de las actividades. Eh, vaya. ¿Quién es la secretaria? ¿Y quién va a ser el jefe? Mm. Y el secretary. ¿Isabel? No lo hemos definido eso. <ríe> Solo estamos formulando la agenda. Ok. Uh, una va a ser la secretaria, otra va a ser la, el jefe, ok. El jefe le pregunta a la secretaria que le diga qué eventos tiene en el mes. Ah, yeah. And the secretary will describe all the events in the agenda, ok? Ok, ok. Y solo de un mes entonces. Va a ser como una conversación, ok, pero eh, le va a decir cada evento que tiene todos los días. Eh, ustedes pueden agregar los eventos que ustedes quieran, las fechas que ustedes quieran. Okay. Okay. No okay. les pongo límite ni tampoco máximo. Eh, depende de ustedes, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Good. Okay. Entonces, este, ¿usted va a ser la secretaria o el jefe? Ah, vaya, ya viene ella. Le preguntamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Dice, queremos escribir este para comenzar a hacer la, la fecha. Este, ¿cómo podemos, cómo decimos para comenzar eh, el día lunes? Ya, o para iniciar, o sea, queremos armar la agenda ahorita, pero no, no, ¿cómo se Se tiene que usar la tercera persona, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh, remember que va a ser una conversación como que entre usted y yo, ¿verdad? Ajá, Digamos ajá. que yo soy la secretaria y usted, el jefe, supongamos. Y yo le voy a decir, hello, Evelyn o Brenda. Uh -huh. uh, vaya, no, es que nosotros hemos hecho así, vaya, saludo, así como dice usted, hi, Brenda, hi, Evelyn. You can help me with the agenda for the move. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, ella dice, es, yes, I can. I can. Entonces, I can. le queremos escribir. Uh, para comenzar. Uh, to start, ok, to start with. To start, y begin, no. Oh, to begin, yes. Ah, uh, ok. Um, for example, uh, the agenda for you, uh, the, the, your mom's agenda, for example, will be, inicia, digamos, el, en junio, ¿verdad? El 5 de junio. Ajá, uh -huh, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Supongamos tomorrow, que sería el 6, June, June 6, you have a meeting. Uh, puede ser con, con los employees, with the employees. Él le dice la hora que tiene la meeting, okay? And then next Friday, que es Friday, June 16, uh, June 9, ajá. Uh -huh. So you have, um, no sé, ¿qué, ¿qué tipo de actividades hacen ustedes en su trabajo con su jefe? Ahí, bueno, pues, ahí nosotros solo aburriamos, teacher. Ok, pueden inventarse. Por ejemplo, you can say, uh,
Eh, on Friday, oh, yeah, on oh. Friday, June night is Brenda's birthday, for example. Okay, le está recordando que es el cumpleaños de Brenda ese día. Eh, what else? On next Monday, that will be on Monday, June 12. Um, we have a lunch. Tenemos un almuerzo. We have a lunch with... Ajá, empieza el 5, ¿verdad? Ajá, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow six. Que sería empieza el 6. Ustedes pueden inventar cualquier actividad, ¿ok? No, no importa que sea relevante o irrevela, ir, yeah. irrelevante. So, it could be any activity. For example, if you have a meeting, if you have a, a report, you have to, to complete a report, you have a birthday, you have to check um, someone else's job, um, you have a lunch with the co-workers what else mm -hmm. you have to check the 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 budget you have to check like uh oiga, the oiga, oiga esta, Evelyn. Oiga esta, um, tomorrow tomorrow agenda tomorrow five six you have a lunch with a uh, mini factory five Tú tienes un almuerzo con la mini fábrica 5. Mm -hmm. Ok, that is an example. Eso, eso podría ser un ejemplo. Yes. Ok. Te lo dicto, Belita. Remember that first is the day, primero es el día, luego es el mes, mm -hmm. y después esa es la fecha del mes, ok? For example, Monday, June 5th. Así es el orden, ok? Cuando van a decirle una fecha. Tenemos que poner toda la fecha. <risa> Al menos el, el día, el mes y la fecha. Si no ponen el año, está bien. So we are talking about 2000. Pues sí, porque estamos en el mismo mes. O sea, la agenda Ajá. es solo para el mes. Y, y si decimos tomorrow June, se puede. O tenemos que decir tomorrow Monday. Tomorrow, tomorrow Tuesday. Sí, o tomorrow... Uh, bueno, es, si es para mañana, no es necesario, digan la fecha porque sabemos que es mañana. Pero uh -huh. si es para más días, yes, you, okay. you have to say the day, month, tomorrow. Eh, y, y también la fecha del, del mes. Uh -huh. Ok, um, las veo. Ay, las dejo. Diez minutos. Okay. Diez minutos. Bueno, Ay, las gracias. Dejo valiendo mango. <risa> Brenda, vaya, Brenda, vaya. Ya, ya lo vamos armando la Brenda, ya. Okay. Vaya. Sí. Vaya, yo le dije, ¿tienes un almuerzo? Espera, espérese, pero vamos a ponerle la fecha ahorita, porque ya, vaya, ya tenemos hasta, hasta que usted contesta. Yes, I can, va. Vaya, luego. Hello. Hello. Are you working? Sí, está trabajando, Astrid. Sí. Okay. ¿Y Aide? Are you working, Aide? Yes, teacher. I finished. Ah, okay. Good. Ok, uh, los veo en seis minutos, ok, en the main room. Ok. ¿Quieren verificar o practicar pronunciación? That is ok. Eh, eh, quiero ver... Eh, para decir cuñado es brother in law. Mm -hmm. Brother in law. In law. Brother in law, yes. ¿Y ah, bueno. Sorry? ¿Y sobrino? My nephew. My nephew. 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 
Nephew. Nephew. Estamos bien. Ok. Nada más. Ok, good. ¿Ya terminaron? Yes. Ok, so practice pronunciation, ok? Practiquen pronunciación. Ok. So la, uh, we are going to... La veo en five minutes. Cinco minutos. Bye. Ok. Um, tell me the events of the month. Okay, on Thursday, 15 June, you're meeting with the uh, human resources at 2 p.m. Also, Wednesday, 21st June, you have lunch with the uh, engineers, and Monday, 26 June monthly you are meeting with the investors. Okay, we are ready for action. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Finalizamos ahí. Very good practice. Hola. Okay, just ready. Okay. Practiquemos eso, la, un poquito la pronunciación, ¿ok? Ready. Ok. Ready. Empezamos. Okay. Good morning, Griselda. Good morning, Xiomara. Tell me the events of the mom. Event. Ok. Ahí sí decimos events, ¿ok? Try to uh, emphasize in that event. Event. Events. Okay. Event. Tell me, tell me uh, the events of the month. Okay. On Thursday, 15 June, you're meeting with the human resources at 2 p.m. Also, Wednesday, 21st June, you have lunch with the engineers. And finally, Monday 26th, you monthly your meeting with investors. Okay, we are ready for action. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay, Griselda. Uh, remember that first we have we say the day. Primero decimos el día. For example, Monday. Then we we say the month. Monday June. And then we say the, the days of the month, like a fifth, for example. Monday, June, fifth. Ah, entonces primero sería como Monday, June, 26. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Arregle todas esas, esas fechas. Póngale primero el, el día, then month, and then the, the date of the month, okay? Ahorita, gracias. Uh -huh. practicamos la última vez <risas> sí, sí, está bien, está bien vale aquí voy, ready good morning Griselda good morning Xiomara tell me uh, events of the month ok on Thursday June 15 you're meeting with human resources at 2 p.m. Hi guys. Hi. Are you ready? No. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, but uh, almost ready. Le estamos haciendo las dos maneras. Robert en su cuaderno y yo. Okay, pero no lo hagan muy largo, okay? Don't, uh, no se compliquen mucho en... And try to think in English, okay? Okay. Because if you try to think in Spanish, it will be more complicated. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. okay. Bueno, ahí termina.
Ready, guys? Ready, girls? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, two minutes. We are in the main room. Let me see. Vamos a, va, uh, usually June 14 um, salimos al parque no es de usually June 14 ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿cómo escribimos? salimos al parque mm -hmm. salimos a comer afuera we go to the park salimos a de nosotras ¿verdad? nosotros <laughs> we, uh, we go out you pueden ser that we go uh -huh. out to eat. Ajá. Más uh -huh. más mejor. <ríe> Ajá. Bye. Okay. Ah, uh, el tiempo se nos termina porque ya eh, falta poco para only 15 minutes. Voy a a uh, unirnos ya al, al main room, okay? Lo que tenga okay. is is okay. Okay. Y Evelito un solo desparpajo. <ríe> Sí, pero copió. Okay. Sí, sí. We got a uh, depart. Welcome back. Okay, ¿quiénes me faltan? Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Hi. Okay, very good. So we're going to start. Si no terminamos hoy, but mañana terminamos, okay? But yes, we're going to to review, to check what you have. Okay, we'll so names. Déjenme agregar aquí los rooms. So, for example, we have room one, room two, room three, room four, room five, room six, room seven. Okay. Okay, room seven. What is the cell dance your mother? Okay. Grisela está ahí. Sí. Okay. Aquí vamos, Tish. Okay. Good morning, Grisela. Good morning, Xiomara. Tell me the events of the moon. Okay. On Thursday, June 15, you're meeting with the human resources at 2 p.m. Also, on Wednesday, June 21st, you have lunch with the engineers. And finally, on Monday, June 26, monthly, you're meeting with investors. Okay, 
We are ready for action. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay. Finish teaching. Okay, very good. That was that was a short conversation, but that was really good. Thank you. Very good job. Okay, let me see. Uh who is next? Okay, rule number six. Where is Roberto and Sandra? Go ahead, Robert and Sandra. 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 Hola, me escucha, muy sí. Yes. 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 Hello. Hello. Good morning, Robert. How are you? I'm okay. Good morning, Sandra. I want we do a meet check on the activities. Let me open the window. Perfect. Turn off the line and the PC too. They first meeting with bid on you ten twenty twenty three. At uh, 2 p.m. To begin, uh, check the mail and all report for each area. Good idea, no sé cómo se dice. Idea. Idea. Oh, idea. Thank you, Sandra. Tell Thank you later. Thank you. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay. Very good. Good job. Okay. Okay. Rule number three. What is uh, Selena and Isabel? Okay, so, este. what even do I have chill left, Selena? It is so you like first 2023. Meeting with at the manager. It okay. is one of them. I will say. 2023 presentation of the new projects. It is Friday, September 10, 2023, meeting with an investor. Okay, very good. I have some time also, Shelly. No, at the moment. Okay, thank you, Selena. Okay, finish the chair. Okay. That was good, very good. Uh, Isabel, ¿cuál fue la última oración que usted dijo? Can you please repeat that? Mm, la última. Sí. Eh, le dije... Okay, very good. I have some sometimes also scheduled. Mm -hmm. Ahí no le entendí. ¿Qué, qué, qué, quieras, ¿Qué quiso decir? Le quise, le pregunté que si tengo algo más uh, agendado o algo más okay. programado. Oh, okay, es casual. <laughs> Casual. 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 Yes, try to pronounce that uh, and practice. If, if you consider that it's difficult for you, 
try mm -hmm. to practice okay try to practice listen to you and practice okay yes very good thank you Isabel. um okay let me see who is next okay room number one what is astrid and i did Ahorita, yo empiezo. Okay. Hello, Astrid. I will tell you a little about what are you doing, you doing this month. The next Sunday, June eh, 80, June 80, eh, 2023, go visit my sister because she comes to visit El Salvador. The Saturday, June uh, 17, 2023. I am going to see my father. I finally Tuesday, June 21st, 2023. It's my brother in law's birthday. Hi, my gender for the mom is. Saturday on June 17th, I will go to flower my father to the cemetery. And Sunday, June 18th, I will go to my nephew birthday. Okay. Finally, teacher. That's it? Okay. Yes. Good, yeah, yeah, good ideas. Just try to, yes, so just try to practice a little bit about pronunciation, okay? But yes, you have good ideas. That was good grammar structure. And you are, are practicing like the date, okay? That was the main purpose of that, the conversation. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see. Room number two. What is Brenda and Evelyn? Hi, Brenda. Hello, Evelyn. You can help me with the agenda for the mom. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, Evelyn. To start with your mom agenda, uh, tomorrow, June 13, you have a meeting. On Wednesday, usually June 14, we go out to eat. And finally, on Friday, June 15, you have a lunch with your peers. Only. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that was good. You have meeting. Okay. You, you have, have meeting. meeting. Yes. Okay, that was good. Thank you so much. Okay, very good ideas. Okay, rule number four. What is Judith and Karen? Okay. Permítame un momentito. Ahorita. Hi, Judith. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Excuse me. Can you tell me what meeting we have for this day? You have appointment at 10 a.m. with the Langer Jaime. Okay, the report that I will deliver to Mr. Jaime's reading. If I have it a month ready, I only need a signature. Okay, what other appointment do I have? For this month, 
you have a video conference for June 15 at 9 a.m. Okay. Can you help me book an appointment with the dentist? With pleasure. For what day? By the end, by the end of the month, it will be fine. Of course, be fine. You're welcome. Okay. Of Continue. Of um, course, le toca. I tell them. Of course, both. Oh, do it arrive again. Thank you, Judith. You're welcome. Okay, that was good. You said the lawyer, the lawyer, Jaime? Yes. He's a student abogado, right? With the lawyer, lawyer Jaime, correct? Lawyer. Okay, that was good. Okay, muy bien. Buenas ideas. A good, good conversation. Okay, and finally, that is the room number five. That is Manuel and Natalie. Okay. Okay. Hello, good morning, Natalie. How are you? Good morning. I I am fine. And you? So so. So. What time is your name? Breakfast. Our schedule is at age. 50. They there. And what time do you leave? Um, at 7 30. How are you doing with the change? Excellent. Um, and your rest to this? I am good at English. E excellent. Goodbye, Natalie. Bye, my love. Finish, okay. teacher. Okay. Se me confundieron un poquito con las indicaciones, ¿verdad? Pero it's okay. <laughs> No, don't worry. So we're going to practice more this week. Okay, very good job, guys. Congratulations to everyone. So you are doing a good job. I like it. Están haciendo muy, muy buen trabajo, okay? Yo sé que eh, están en el proceso de aprendizaje. You can make mistakes. It's, it's fine. But that, it, that help you to improve, okay? Eso les ayuda a mejorar. Very good. So that is that is uh all for today. Thank you so much for your attention and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to start the unit number three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good night, teacher. Have a good, good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night for you too. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.